strings sequence type sequence allows you to store multiple values in an organized and efficient way there are several sequence types strings unicode string list tuples byte array buffer and exchange objects nothing to worry looking at the long list you will get to know it gradually python strings strings are sequence of characters let us see some examples of string my name is rahul is a string rahul is a string go home is a string all these are examples of string in python strings are called str there is a specific way of defining a string in python it is defined within single quotes or double quotes or even triple quotes if it is a multi line string accessing string elements square bracket can be used to access element of the string remember that the first character has index 0 index refers to the position of a character in the string in python index number starts with 0 for example you have a string a which is hello world if you print a of 1 as indexing starts with 0 it will print a character e will give you an output e can you understand why because string indexing starts with 0 so h has a index 0 e has a index 1 l has a index 2 next l will have a index 3 o will have a index 4 so on till the end of the string so if we print a in square bracket 1 we are assessing element e hope you get got the answer to the previous question now string slicing we can can also call out a range of characters from a string using string slicing so if you have want a substring from the main string you can use string slicing specify the start index and the end index separated by a colon to return a part of the string note that the character of the end index is not included suppose we want to print world from the string hello world we can do so as below so a is a string storing hello world and we want to print world from it so index of w index of w is 6 index of d is 10 so we have to use string slicing such that a in square bracket it starts from 6 because w index is 6 and it ends till 10 so last is not included therefore last index minus 1 therefore here it is 11 so when you click on the cell and on the cell you will get the output world on the user screen negative indexing if we have a long string and if we want to pinpoint an item towards the end we can also count backwards from the end of the string starting at the index number minus 1 so printing r from the string hello world so d will be minus 1 l will be minus 2 r will be minus 3 hence when we print a in square bracket minus 3 it will print out r on the user screen getting the characters from position minus 5 to position minus 3 starting count from the end of the string so when you say minus 5 in hello world string minus 5 will be w minus 1 will be d minus 2 will be l Minus three will be R, minus four will be O, and minus five will be W. We want to run till last index minus one. So, if you want to run till minus three, minus one is D, minus two is L, minus three is R. So you have to give last index minus one. So we want to run till minus three. So we will give minus two. because minus 2 uh, mi uh, minus 2 minus 1 will result in 3 and it would print w o r where w is minus 5 and r is minus 3 click on the cell and run the cell you get w o r on the user screen now string concatenation string concatenation means adding string together using the plus character to add a variable to 
another variable of the string. So in the example, you have first string AB, second string CD, and you are using plus operator to concatenate these two strings, therefore the output ABCD. Next example, first string is Python is, second string is awesome. And when you add this two string variable X plus Y and store the result in Z and print the value of Z on the user screen, you get Python is awesome on the output of the cell. String concatenation and you want to add space. So we can also add space, space between two strings. Here we have first string as AB stored in X, second string CD stored in Y. And when we print X plus space plus Y, it will add space between AB and CD and print it directly on the user screen. Now, string length. To get the length of the string, use the length function getting the length of string A. Suppose A is hello world. Now, to get the length of the string, we are calling length function len. In opening and closing parenthesis, we give the string which is stored in variable A. And we print this length. The length of the string hello world is 13. String methods. As everything in Python is an object, object has method attached to it. So Python has set of built-in methods that can be used on a string. Must learn. Learn about important string method from the below cheat sheet. Tip, if you are unable to follow, run the code and make out the difference. Follow the link, execute the code and understand the difference.